Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Fonts are awesome. I used to scan my own little uh, characters into uh, the computer and then create fonts with this very expensive program. and It was fun to do, really. Um, you know, and then you could use that font, you know, anywhere fonts can be used, like in a word processing document, spreadsheet, web browser, whatever. And if you've always wanted to create a font out of your own handwriting or just your own font with little graphics or whatever, you've got a way to do it thanks to Daniel Thomas. He's a member of the community at geeks.perillo.com who passed along this resource, fontcapture.com. You don't need to register for it. All you need is a printer and a scanner. That's about it, really. You, you, you basically download a PDF template, uh, fill in the boxes. Be careful, though. Uh, because the placement of the, f the things that you draw, because it could be more than just you know letters and numbers. I mean, you're drawing extended characters or possibly even your own glyphs. Uh, the position will determine the position inside the font when it's actually created on this website free. Nothing to install. It'll just create the font for you, a true type font. In fact, uh, my friend Natasha, graphic designer, painter, artist, person, friend, thing. She's not a thing, really. She's at Natasha on Twitter. Uh, she, uh, you know, was remarking how it would normally take a graphic designer sometimes a week or longer to create something just like this that we created in minutes. Yeah. So uh, we printed out the PDF template, filled in the characters, and then scanned it in, went to the website here. It says, create your own uh, font with your own handwriting, and, you, you, and then you just basically step through it. Create your own font now. It says, okay, here's what you do first. Download the font template. Great. We've done that. Go to step two. We'll click through there. Gives you explanation, right? I'm going to do that, or I did that. Then step three, font name. So we're going to say geek uh, fontistic. Author, Chris Perillo, choose the file. I've got it scanned in here as a PNG. That's what they recommend. Uh, there's the PNG file, the scanned template. We'll go ahead and place that there. Press submit. It says, please be patient. This upload can take several minutes depending on your internet connection. And I, by the way, they recommend uh, a felt tip marker. That's the best thing to use if you're going to be doing this. And look at that. We have now created the Geeka Fantastic font. It took my script here and turned it into a font that can now be used for anything. I preview the font here, enter some text here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm looking at the chat room to see what people are saying, but unfortunately, a lot of n nothing. How about a Sharpie? Question mark, submit. And there is in my handwriting, how about a Sharpie? Question mark, my handwriting created uh, from this template on this website. I download the TrueType font, and it gives you instructions on how to install it, or you know, you basically double-click to install it. Uh, here it is, that's the font right there. Copyright 2009, Chris Perillo, created using fontcapture.com. Create your own font, have fun with it. Um, you know, the world needs more fonts. It's a shame they don't support sharing, I agree. Uh, but, you know, if you want, you can share it, you know, by way of any uh, file sharing site if your font is really wicked cool. So now you don't need to, you know, draw, uh, you know, something on, you know, a tablet. You can draw your font, scan it into a true type font, install it, and then use it anywhere. Use, it, use your own font as your default web browser font. Is that not a personalized web experience? Do you not think so? I think so. Absolutely amazing. Fontcapture.com. Thanks again to Daniel Thomas. Uh, amazing resource. This could normally cost you hundreds of dollars to do. You can do for free instantaneously. No registration, no software required. Amazing resource. Love it. I love you guys out there in the community. My email address, in case you have something similar to pass along or a really cool thing uh, that we might you know, be interested in taking a look at and sharing, is chris at perillo.com. That email address. Then, of course, geeks.perillo.com if you want to share the things that you know or the things that you've created potentially with your own font. Who knows? You're also welcome to join us in the chat room, which is typically talking tech. Very geeky things like software, hardware, services, sometimes fonts, although not that often. But we do talk about things 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right here at live.perillo.com.
www.ebaymedia.com. We'll see you later.